So unfortunately, the time has come that I have to get rid of my M3. I've been daily driving this thing for probably, I wanna say six, seven years now. It's been a great car so far. I put a lot of time and a little money into it. Now, mine is the SMG model. And SMG models get a bad rap for their reliability. But honestly, it's kind of unwarranted. It's usually people just don't know what they're doing or they don't quite understand the car or they have a misdiagnosis from the shops they take them to. Uh, that actually happened to me. I had the clutch go out and I even thought it was the clutch and I told the shop, you know, I think it's a clutch, just verify for me. They let the car sit there, they call me and they're like, nah, it's your pump. They want to charge me like almost $6,000 to replace it. And I said, nah, just give me the car back. So I got the car back. I still didn't think it was the pump. Everything that I saw uh, was saying it was something different. That's another thing that hangs people up is not everybody has the software. Uh, I was lucky I found the software to diagnose it. I was able to see the, the hydraulic pump. I was able to see the values of the pump, see that they're in good range. As far as I know, this is the original pump. So the car has 161,000 miles on it. So if you take care of the car, the car will last. This car has like no real, like mechanically the car's sound. Um, it's got like a few things here and there that I'd like to take care of just don't have the time anymore it's one of the other reasons why I'm getting rid of the car when I bought this car this was the I, I wanted an SMG up until that point I had never owned a car that didn't have a third pedal so when I bought this car I specifically wanted the SMG model now the car can be put in automatic mode or manual mode I always drive it in manual mode uh, I'm not sure if it helps with the longevity of the clutch or not. It's a possibility just because like the car, you know, wants to like smoothly take off, smoothly shift gears. Um, anybody who knows anything about like Gallardo's and the E-gears, this is a similar system. The E-gears had a lot of problem, a lot of reli like reliability issues. Um, and one of the things that I saw like every e-gear owner say is you know don't use the car in automatic i don't use the car in automatic i like this i like the paddles anyways i'm used to driving manual cars all the time these cars are a blast to drive though like when you're really on it the car is great the only time the car is annoying as a daily is in stop and go traffic and that's honestly like that's the problem with the SMG. Driving in stop and go traffic, the car doesn't want to like go into first gear hardly ever uh, until you're like at a complete stop. The car wants to like ride the clutch when you're taking off. Cause you know like when the person in front of me is not going and they're doing that little kind of like barely creeping, that's annoying in these cars. Uh, Cause you can't just let off your foot off the brake like a normal automatic and it pull you forward. You have to give it like a little bit of gas but then it gradually grabs the clutch because it is a manual car. Just there's a hydraulic system controlling the clutch. And the car system honestly doesn't drive as well as a regular person in slow kind of traffic. Now, at high speeds and stuff like that, or like if you're on a track or something, or winding back roads, that's when it really shines. Because the more aggressive you drive, where you can even, uh, you can adjust the aggressiveness of the shift changes on the car with a little button actually. And in sport mode, like the downshifts, the rev matching, ah, it's so great. That's when these cars are just really, really fun to drive. Honestly, it's not bad as a daily. I get like mm, low 20 mile per gallon. I mean, considering how much power it has and stuff, that's really not that bad. I do a lot of highway driving, but I also have to like hit some stop and go traffic in the mornings and stuff. So like living with this as a daily, this has been one of my best dailies. It has just the right amount of like practicality. 
So I've got back seats, you know? I've got all the amenities. <laughs> like I haven't taken the AC or anything like that out. Car drives smooth, it's quiet-ish. It's much more quiet than my Corvette. Road noise is great. Suspension is pretty smooth considering it's a sports car. Like overall, it's a really practical car. And again, if you take care of it, like these things just last. Get on it a little bit. are definitely worth owning.